Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of California. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about this spreadsheet that I'm creating for talent agencies in the LA area. So I do have another spreadsheet about auditions and tracking auditions. If you guys want to check that video out, it's right here. But I wanted to show you how I am making this spreadsheet and all of the notes and stuff I'm making in case you are also seeking representation in your area and you know, this might be useful for you. It might be a good way to gather all of your information because I was simply copying and pasting a bunch of information from different places, specifically IMDb Pro. That's where I'm doing a lot of my research. Um, but it was getting a little messy. And then I thought, why don't I just make a spreadsheet? And then I can also share um, with you guys how I'm making these spreadsheets. For this one in particular, I am currently doing research for agents and casting directors in the LA area, but this spreadsheet is going to be specifically for LA agents, LA talent agencies. So I am seeking commercial and theatrical representation. I am primarily doing research on different agencies based off of talent agencies that represent friends of mine or, and um, I'm going to different shows on IMDb Pro and seeing uh, which actors are represented by who. And then within those uh, talent agencies, which representatives represent those actors. So for example, right now I was working on Hentified, which is on Netflix and it's a show I really, really like. Uh, then it was cast by Carla Hul, which I've also made a video about her. If you guys want to check it out right there, I was seeing, you know, the actresses because there's a lot of Latina actresses on there and actors. And then I was going to those actors pages and seeing who they're represented by, putting all of that information on my spreadsheet so that um, I have everything organized in one place. So when it does come time to send out those postcards or emails or however it is I'm going to be submitting to that specific uh, casting agency or a talent agency I have everything in one place and I know you know where to go what to do so what I just did was I cut up some paper and then I wrote different things on these um, pieces of paper to get an idea of what I want to put on my spreadsheet just because I like this better than going on the spreadsheet right away because you have to delete it and then you know move it in a different place so this I could physically move them around I wrote different things like the location so you know if it's LA and New York and Atlanta then I can put that on there for when I seek representation in other places um, I put the representative again because I want to know who in that talent agency represents that specific actor that I um, would also you know they're my type so let's move to my computer and then we can create this um, spreadsheet together because this was my first step making sure that I knew which order I wanted to put all of these things in so when I go on gmail and then go to sheets and create my spreadsheet that I know where all of these are going to go I'm going to share with you my screen and show you how I'm making this spreadsheet and then along the way when I am putting something in each column I'll let you know why I'm putting that there in uh, in particular today I'm doing it through gmail then you're going to go to the top right where they have where there's nine circles over here and then scroll down to sheets and I like a template that they already have on here I tend to gravitate to the assignment tracker because I don't know I already like the way that one looks so I'm just gonna do that versus starting from scratch and I'm going to remake rename it as um, spring 2021 talent agencies here, I'm just going to make a note to myself. For the first one, I'm labeling it agency type. And now the options for agency type are math, biology, geography. Obviously, we want to change that. So I'm going to go up to B. Um, and I have selected that entire um, column. And then I'm going to go to data and data validation. And now we want to choose from a list of items. And the items that I'm going to put for now are theatrical, commercial, comma uh, voice over so the comma uh, splits the different categories that you're going to to choose from so now these three come up and if in the future I'm seeking representation for something else I can just do the same thing and change it okay so for the second one um, I'm gonna put the talent agency so this would be the actual name of the talent agency and then just to put an example it's gonna be MDT and this one we're not going to you know put a list of different items because we're not gonna choose it each time it's just we're gonna put it in each time I'm gonna make this smaller 
The next one is location. This one I put LA, New York, Georgia, and then for this one I put LA, New York, and Georgia, and this one LA and Georgia. Just what I'm gonna put for now, really right now I'm gonna use mostly LA ones. This one's pretty straightforward. I would put the uh, address, email, um, phone number, just anything that I might get my hands on and um, you know, depending on what type of submissions they would like, then that's how I'm going to reach out to them. I just wanna have all of the information on my spreadsheet just in case something, I need some one of those for any reason. The next one is going to be the show. So because most of these talent agencies that I'm submitting to are through something that I've watched before that their actors were in, then I want to make a note. Like I was saying earlier, Agentified is one that I'm currently doing research on. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that for show. The actor that's in that show and the role that they played, so which character they played in that. And now we're going to add some more um, to the right. So to to keep adding them, you just want to um, control click um, for the for max, and then you're going to just insert one to the right or to the left, whatever you want. Rep is going to be the specific representative for that actor in that talent agency because most agencies unless they're very very tiny the talent agencies have a lot of different agents that work there so let's say there was an actress that i want you know her representative to also represent me within that agency then i know it was like you know nancy lopez or whatever <laughs> i'm making this up obviously um and then next i'm going to put the date that i learned this information. So for example, if I'm on IMDb Pro and I see that this actress is represented by Nancy Lopez, I want to say, okay, it was on March 10th of 2021 that she was represented by this person because I don't want to submit to this representative in like two years. And then she's like, oh, I haven't represented that actress in forever. You don't know what you're talking about. So that's the reason I'm putting that date there. And then I just changed um, the data validation to date, uh, to different dates and then submission date. And then this way I know which day I actually submitted to them. So if I need to follow up or if, uh, you know, I need this note for whatever reason, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a future date just for the sake of this video. Um, and again, I'll show you how I changed it. You go to data, data validation, and then the list of, you know, ranges from list items, there's actually a date option. So I'm just going to do that and then make this a little bit smaller because the spreadsheet's gonna have a lot of information. The next one is submission type. So this, of course, you need to see on their website or however you can find information for them. List of items, and it can be um, postcard, email, or online submission. So some agencies have on their website a way that you can submit directly through their website. This one, I'm just gonna go ahead and say, online submission rep submitted to so this is who i'm submitting to as we talked about earlier let's say the representative that i researched was nancy lopez so then i would say here nancy lopez and i am not an expert at all with you know these spreadsheets i've only made a few and i've only used them you know for personal uses so some of this stuff i'm sure if you're an expert at excel sheets spreadsheets you're like what are you doing like right now because i basically copied another row to the right it's giving me this um we could clear it out if we wanted to if we wanted to be extra clean about it so this column i want to put if somebody referred me let's say somebody that's already represented by this agency if they referred me so i'll just put it a name um just for fun you know if one of my friends actually Put in a good word for me at that agency connection so this is in case uh i don't have anybody that can refer me to that agency which is going to be the most you know the most common that i don't actually have anybody referring me to that agency i can say um you know somebody that we both have worked with or a project that we both have been a part of or something like that so this this one i'm just gonna put timothy hulls you represent this person too or you've worked with him on this commercial 
whatever, like some kind of, what am I going to make that connection of, you know, I know about you because of this, or you also represent a friend of mine whose name is this. So just what kind of connection in case I don't have a referral, at least I have some kind of connection or can tell them something about work that I like that they have done. Reply date. So if they actually replied to me, I just want to know if they did and when that was, how long it took them um, for how long it took them to get back to me. And then I'll just put April 1st meeting. So this one, did I get a meeting from them? And for this one, I'm going to edit it so it is a yes or no. So I'm just going to say, yes, I got a meeting. And lastly, I am going to put notes. So just anything, if any, any kind of anything that I want to write, um, uh, you know, took the meeting, but wasn't a great fit because, and then I can put whatever notes or I can put, it was a great meeting, but they said, you know, they, they aren't looking for somebody like me right now, submit again in six months or whatever. I can put those dates there, but this is a spreadsheet I'm going to be using. I'll probably modify it as I'm actually adding all of the information. Right now I just have everything in, you know, basically a word document slash email where I was just copying and pasting all of the information. So I might edit this. Um, I just wanted to show this to you guys, this idea that I came up with, put it, gathering everything together on a spreadsheet. I'm telling you exactly how I'm doing it so you can do it as well. You can create a spreadsheet. Let me know if there's anything else that I should be putting on here, any other column, any other information that might be useful for me. If you want to learn more about my submission process and all of that. I do have a few uh, videos already on agents, talent agencies. You can watch those and I will be adding more and more. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. This is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure you're subscribed, like this video and leave me a comment.